David, uh, just on a stock market, so the, I guess the market was up 300 and something. It finished uh, just over 200, 230. Presumably, this is about um, Joe Biden's announcement that we're not going to close the economy. What do you make of the stock market movement Friday and now today? Well, the stock market move Friday was just utterly absurd. The only news that they had was a very minimal number of cases in a very minimal number of countries. And um, there's just no taking into account for what is the biggest factor right now, which is the people are not going to shut down economic activity. They're not going to put up with lockdowns. They're not going to put up with some suppression of uh, economic activity, of financial uh, well-being. So at the end of the day, the politics of this have changed substantially. And, and I really believe that the market had a kind of knee-jerk reaction on a half day and a holiday weekend. And by the way, it had already been at all-time highs. It was up 1,500 points in the four weeks before that. So it's still higher than it was a few weeks ago, for Pete's sake. I just think there's a substantial overreaction, and I suspect that this strain is going to end up being like all the other strains before it. A lot of media attention and a lot of political mm. nonsense, and the market will see through it all. Yeah, well, so far, you're right. I mean, even Scott Gottlieb, who's often pessimistic about these things, and often right, but a lot of experts are saying this is not a catastrophe, we shouldn't panic. And so you think that quickly, David, the stock market will bounce back? Yeah, I mean, I think markets are already at high valuations, so there's other factors that could disrupt that. The Build Back Better bill could end up happening, and there's a lot of negatives in that. But I think that the earnings environment and mm. the overall health of the market is not impeded by this event, Larry.